Hard bodies are a favourite. I fished them as a kid on the Murray River and I sort of earned my stripes with hard bodies. Um, they float when you're not retrieving them and that's a real asset when you're fishing this structure. So I'll cast them beyond my target zone if I can. If it's a bank, that's fine, you can't go any further. But if I'm fishing a fallen down tree and I can get a cast 20 metres beyond the structure where I think the fish lives, you need to do that for hard bodies because you've got to get them down. Unlike a spinnerbait or a lipless crankbait, they're not sinking. So the only way you can get them down is to get them moving. So land the lure, get it working, get it down, and then slow it. Because what you want is that lure touching bits of timber as it comes through the target zone. That's like a trigger for native fish. They, they just see, they think it's a yabby hitting something or something panicking, and that's like a strike signal for natives. So get the hard body down, get it near your timber, walk it through the timber, if it's hitting bits of timber, you're in the right spot. That's what you want. And often, having hit bits of timber, fish will grab it. Yep. Ripper. Take the drag off a bit. In terms of threats to Murray Cod, uh, Lake Yildon is an artificial impoundment. It's got water for domestic purposes and irrigation, so it's not a wild system. All the fish are stocked. Now, that's not the case in rivers, but it means when you come to Lake Yildon and if you want to take a fish for a feed, by all means, take one. Stay within the bag limits and the size limits, but don't feel bad about taking a fish for a feed. They were put there for anglers. Some people want to catch them as a sport fish. Other people want to take it home and share it as a family meal. It caters for everyone. Golden perch, redfin, Murray cod, trout. Uh, it offers a lot, even some yabbies if, you, if that uh, takes your fancy, but Lake Eildon is a great place regardless of why you're coming here.